Yeah, Ryan and Marcy, the Hidalgo County Emergency Management Office warning homeowners tonight to prune their trees, make sure those heavy branches are taken down. We're running out of time to do that, obviously, but if you look here behind me, you can see exactly the kind of mess that a big tree can cause. Of course, this tree has been here for more than 30 years, the homeowners tell us, and just toppled over with those strong winds with that earlier thunderstorm that we saw move through the valley here this morning. They want to make sure that you have all any loose debris in your yards. Bring that in. There shouldn't be anything laying around that could blow away with these heavy winds tonight. We actually have with us the homeowners we want to bring them in now tell us exactly you know how traumatic this must be ladies uh, to experience this you woke up this morning what happened well i went to work but my husband was the one that stayed here and he said that around 5 30 in the morning he heard a real loud loud sound and then he went to the kitchen and he thought that the, something was going on you know and then as they, he just stood and then he saw the tree just fell just all he was standing very close to where that tree fell. Right. He was standing in the living room, and then he went to, and the tree just completely fell on the side. So uh, it was. He made it out, luckily, there in that case. And, and we've got the car trapped under the tree right now. What does it look like for damages to that? It looks like it's a total loss at this time, from what I can see. We're just praising God that my uncle was okay. And he, nothing happened to him because he was sitting down drinking his coffee right in the front of the house where the living room is. All right, ladies, thank you. We're so glad you, you came out here to talk to us about the mess that you're dealing with now. They have friends who are going to help them chop this tree down and take it out of here. For now, we're live at Donna tonight. Joey Orta, Action 4 News.